Hi, this is Glenn White with Eurosafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the flexible bi-directional suspension or dog bone that you would find on the AS350s, EC130s, and the AS355s. This fitting on the bottom of the transmission absorbs torque and vibrations. And it is attached to two places to the airframe and two places to the transmission with these laminated pads. The laminated pads are layers of rubber and metal. They're attached uh, together on either side of the dog bone, and then a bolt is run through the middle of that fitting. So again, the purpose of the dog bone or flexible bidirectional suspension is to absorb torque. And you can see here that they're rigid in compression, so they absorb the torque or the um, moment or the desire of the transmission to turn. Uh, if we look at the side of the laminated pads during flight, they're considered to be flexible and shear, which absorbs uh, vibrations. This is exaggerated for effect, obviously. Now on pre-flight, we wanna make sure that that dog bone is properly attached to the airframe and to the transmission. And we look at that, that what appears to be a washer, it's actually a fitting that goes all the way through the dog bone and attaches the laminated pad or the laminated pads together. And then a bolt goes through that. So in order for those to be mounted onto the dog bone, the, the laminated pads onto the dog bone, uh, it has to be put into this tooling and then it's torqued down. That's why they're always flat on top because uh, it has to fit in that um, tooling. Now, what happens sometimes is those laminated pads become loose in their attachment with each other. So you'll look at pre-flight and you'll notice that the um, flat part there has been has rotated. Now the um, proper uh, thing to do with that then is to take the transmission off the helicopter and you have to re-tighten down those laminated pads. That's obviously a lot of work. What often happens is maintenance will come in and simply tighten that bolt down more thinking that's the part that's loose. But the bolt isn't the part that's loose it's the attachment of those laminated pads together. So if you see that washer or that, that fitting there uh, with the flat spot not on top, uh, the dog bone is loose in its attachment to either transmission or the um, airframe. I hope that answers any questions you have on the pre-flight of the flexible bidirectional suspension, and we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial. Thank you.